Hey guys, so today I am going through my makeup stuff and kind of getting rid of things that I don't use anymore and marking things that are not cruelty free so I know to avoid that brand in the future. This video was semi inspired by Hannah Witten's video, How Cruel Is My Makeup Bag, but I'm taking it a step further and also just kind of cleaning out the crap because if I'm not using it, why am I keeping it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with my smaller bag, which is basically just my implements, i.e. brushes. More brushes. <laughs> and holy shit, more brushes. <laughs> so these brushes I'm keeping. Like, this set is the stuff I actually use. And by this set, I mean these three. I almost never use these ones. <laughs> this is an ELF one that I got from the Dollar Tree. Not sure why I need this. Pencil sharpener. I don't use pencils anymore, so... Okay, who even curls their eyelashes anymore? And tweezers. Okay, I'll keep these. Because <laughs> once in a while my eyebrows get a little unruly. Really, I wish this bag were just a smidge bigger so I didn't have such a hard time getting the brushes out, but... Okay, and now my bigger bag, which is my actual makeup. <laughs> Maybelline. I literally just bought this stuff. Sadly, Maybelline is not a cruelty-free brand. Gets a sticker. Revolution. Love this palette, guys. Haha! -ha. Cruelty free! Yay! I get to keep Revolution because they make awesome palettes and once this is gone I'm definitely buying another one. Again, Maybelline. Which again is sad because I like this mascara. Cover Girl! Not cruelty free. Oh, this is actually Sephora brand. <laughs> I know I got it at Sephora. Cross my fingers for this one because this is great eyeliner. This is kind of a gray area because they don't test on animals unless required by law. They sell in China, where animal testing is required by law. So I'm gonna give that a sticker, just to be safe. Too Faced. I do know that Too Faced is cruelty-free, because it is on many a list of cruelty-free brands. But just to double check, I'm not even sure I'm gonna get more lip primer, but I'll keep this brand in mind for other makeup. L'Oreal. I know they're not cruelty free. I'm not even gonna Google that. Revlon. Again, they were cruelty free, but they started selling in China where they require animal testing. Sad day, Revlon. Sad day. Okay, this is CoverGirl. Again, but I'm getting rid of this because I have had this powder since high school and the cover is like cracking and the powder's just going everywhere, so Bye! Rimmel! Okay. Sadly, not cruelty free. What's really sad is that a lot of these brands are the brands that are available to me at Walmart because that's where I buy my freaking makeup because Ulta is all the way out in the mall and I hate mall traffic. I might have to put in an effort though. Revlon again. Mary Kay! And I happen to know I also have more Mary Kay foundation and Mary Kay satin lips. All this Mary Kay shit. Let's see. Again, China. Get your shit together, China. I'm not too heartbroken about this because Mary Kay is a little hard to get. Cover Girl. I haven't used this blush in ages anyway, and it's really old, so. Makeup Forever. Again, China. Maybelline. And that's really sad because this is my favorite lip color. Look at it. It's so pretty, guys. Cover Girl, and this mascara is super old. And I also don't use it anymore. Because it's like blue tinted, which is a little weird. Eyeliner pencils that I haven't used in forever. You're all going bye bye. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't even use concealer. Why do I, why do I have this? Oh my god. Okay, wet and wild. Cruelty free. Though I wish you would make your products just a little better. Though this is a fun color. I should probably wipe this down. That is a much nicer looking makeup bag to be honest. Like, shit actually fits. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all take this opportunity to also look through your makeup bag and start buying brands that are cruelty free. It's a small thing, but it can really make a difference. All right, I will see you guys next time.